friends, this is Trish with Fun Do's, and I am back with another wig review. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. I feel like I found a find here, and I am excited to talk about this one. Look at this bombshell piece. Oh my god. If I was younger, I probably would go out like this. <laughs> but, um because I'm a little bit more mature, um, I will be doing some, making some modifications to this. So, but I first want to tell you that I think this is, I don't even know what to say. I think this is the best find I have ever found in a wig piece. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. Um, at the end of this video, there is a out of the box that shows you what this looks like in the lighting in my bathroom without the ring light. Um, so let me tell you about this. First of all, this is by, I got this off of Etsy, E-T-S-Y. Um, if for those of you that don't know, I think it's more like a homemade arts and craft, you know, kind of, um, website where people a lot of times make things and, you know, they're very, stuff is very cute. Um, and sometimes you'll find things like this out there. So this is by a company called Hair and Joy, H-A-I-R-N-J-O-Y. And this is described as an ombre ash brunette blonde wig, 13 by 4 lace front, um, beach wave. It is synthetic, but it is heat safe. Um, I'm just looking at my computer here. Um, oh, I was going to say, so when I take this off and show you the cap, I will show you what it looks like. The wefting is covered, and I don't even know if there's, like, really wefting, as you would say. Um, when I looked at this, I was like, wow, I wonder if this is hand-tied. And it is. It is a, uh, let's see, where did it say that? Glueless lace front wig. Oh, the lace in this is hand-tied. So it has a free parting area, lace area, where you could part this in the middle. It does come in the middle or you could part it to the right or the left, and I can show you that as well. Um, this lace is wonderful. It blends with most skin tones. It doesn't seem to me that there is a tint to this at all, which I love. Um, it has natural density, and it has baby hairs here at the front. I also noticed that in the back, there are baby hairs at the nape, where if you put this up, there are little hairs like about that long that kind of go along the whole uh, base of the cap. And then when your hair is up, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. It hides that um, cap a little bit. So um, this is heat safe up to 375, but it is synthetic. And honestly, with these waves and beautiful curls, I don't know that you would want to do anything like that. I mean, maybe you're going to have to re, um, you know, curl this to bring back the curl pattern, but I would not straighten this at all. Um, yeah, it has a natural volume and yeah, so that's all I can say about this. It doesn't really say how long it is, but it is long and I am going to... I was just going to see here if there are any, um, wow, this has got to be like at least 20 inches or so in length. Um, it doesn't really say, but, um, I will definitely be cutting this and I'm going to spin around now so you can see what this looks like on all sides. So this is the front. Um, it does come down to my chest, you know, and, and longer if you stretch out the curl. So I am probably... I mean, oh my gosh, I'm probably going to be cutting off at least six inches of this, if not more, because I could never uh, wear all of this hair. But it is, if I, like I said, if I was younger and I felt more confident going out um, with this kind of hair, I definitely would. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this is my front. Here is the side. I'll put some of this back. See, so you can see that this goes to 
my mid back. And here is the back. Beautiful movement. And then to my other side. Yeah, this is stunning. This is the hair you wish you had. Like, I can tell you that right now. Um, so the great thing about this is this piece was around $75. $75. And when I saw this, I was looking for a piece that had like that ombre effect that had more of an ashy tone. You know, with this, in this ring light here, it does look a little bit warmer. Um, it, it really kind of looked that way in my bathroom too, but I think in the natural lighting, you can definitely see the ashier tones in this. So, um, yeah, so let me take this off and I will show you, uh, the cap on this. Hold tight. Okay. Here is the piece off and I will show you the inside of the cap. So this is where, um, I mean, all this wefting is covered and it is a comfort cap, but usually when this happens, it means that a lot of this is hand tied. Um, so that is beautiful. There are combs here that you can use as extra security, um, one in the back and then two on the side here up by your temples. Um, lace front that goes clearly down to the ear tabs and you saw where that was. Um, it does have a big area for parting here. As it said, it is parted in the middle. Um, while I have this off, I think I'm going to trim the lace on this. So when I put it back on, you can see what this looks like. But this is absolutely stunning. Oh, let me show you this. So at the back here of the cap, you can see all of these baby hairs. So that is if you want to put this up. I'll kind of show you this. Um you'll see all these baby hairs at the nape. And then when that's pulled down, those help to hide the cap of the wig. So that is beautiful because a lot of times when I get these longer wigs, I use them to, uh, as updos for the summer. So I'll put them in, you know, high ponies or messy buns or something with a headband. And, uh, that is how I usually wear my, uh, longer wig pieces. So you can see how long this is. Um, you know, I will say that just from playing with this, um, it is, it, it's not getting tangled, but it's getting a little like frayed here. So, um, that's another reason why I don't know if I could ever wear these longer pieces because I feel they would just get so trash so quick. But anyway, I'm probably going to be cutting off at least you know, that much, if not more. Now, the sad thing is, is that it's going to take off a lot of this um, really light coloring at the bottom, but I, I just can't wear all this hair. It's just, it's, it was... hmm, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, my camera stopped. So um, about where I left off, yeah, when I cut this off, um, it'll cut off a lot of the light coloring here at the bottom. But, you know, I just can't wear all this hair. There's just no way I could, um, you know, it wouldn't even be believable for me because I've never had hair like this. And I mean, it would be fun to do for something special maybe, but I could never do that. People would not even, yeah. So anyway, um, but that is what I'm going to do. I am going to go um, and trim up this lace and then I will put this on and show you some styling. So hold tight. Okay, I am back and the lace is all trimmed up. Um, there is a little bit of knotting on this that you can see. Um, I have, so this also did come with the nylon um, wig caps that I normally don't wear just because I feel that they're like too slippery and they don't really stay securely on my head. Um, but I have found that wearing these helps to disguise some of the knotting and almost blends in the lace to make it look like actual scalp because it is like a flesh colored, you know, cap. 
So that might be something to consider and I might have to play around with that to find out how I could get that. Oh, what some people do too is that they will, um, I think it's a bald head method or something where they will um, put the nylon wig cap on they will glue it down with um, like got to be glued uh, styling paste and hairspray and get that secure. And then they will trim this up around the edges here to take off this edge, this thicker edge. And then we'll put their uh, lace front wigs on that way. And everything kind of blends in and it actually looks really nice. Um, me personally, I don't have the time or patience to be doing that all the time, but I think I might just try to use these a little bit more to kind of blend in the lace and make it look more like scalp, especially, now this is the first wig that I can say that I actually prefer this parted in the middle. Um, I can flip this to one side and it does still look nice. It does kind of flip in your face a little bit. Um, but I don't know with these with these curls and waves. I just feel like it's just meant to be worn in the middle. It's just so gorgeous. So I am going to spray this a little bit because I haven't put any water in this yet. But you you will see in the um, out of the box at the end of this that it really doesn't take much. I mean, this is basically all styled for you. Um, you don't really have to do much with this at all. Except maybe, you know, get this a little bit more volume and lift here in the front if that's what you like. I will attach a picture here of what this looks like um, from the photo on the website. And it is kind of, you know, flatter, less volume here in the top. And then she kind of has this kind of, you know, going away from her face a little bit. And that's one thing that I am going to have to get used to is I usually don't wear my hair so flat in the top here. <laughs> I'm one of those 80s gals where you just didn't wear your hair that way. And which is probably why I part it uh, to either one side because it gives it that you know volume in the in the top and the front that I like um, but I just love how this looks and you could get some you know if I don't feel it's too shiny you could spray this down with some um, brown uh, dry shampoo or root spray something like that if you feel it's a little too shiny some of me loves like how the shine comes out on these pieces because it just looks like healthy hair look at that it just makes it look so multifaceted it's just gorgeous and i don't i don't want to cover that up so much with the uh dry shampoo i'd rather let it just kind of wear off on its own and keep as much luster in it as i can but anyway, that is that. And let me show you what this looks like with some glasses. Cute. Um, do I have any sunglasses? I want to show you what this looks like. No, I don't. I want to show you what this looks like with... Um... Oh, I do have sunglasses. I want to show you what this looks like with sunglasses and a beach hat because... I'll tell you the beach. Oh, I just love these glasses. Um, beach hats are all the rage this summer. And I have purchased quite a few, which I have to stop now. But this, it, oh my gosh, how cute is that? That's why I don't want to cut off like a whole lot of this because it's so dang cute. But I'm going to have to do, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And you can put this in a pony in the back. Or a side pony. Gosh, this is so adorable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut off like maybe six inches of this or so. But this is so dang cute. 
Oh my gosh, okay. Let me show you another hat that I purchased. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh, this is stunning. This is so stunning. Put a little pony in that. Hopefully you can see what this looks like if I lift this up a little bit and you can see those baby hairs in the back. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can. But this is adorable. Oh my gosh. I love it. Love it. Yeah. So you guys, uh, summer hats are all the rage right now. Um, I can't, I think this might be considered like a Panama or a, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but this is adorable with the glasses and the swimsuit. Oh my gosh. So cute. This is considered a, I know my hats now, this is considered a boater hat and it's all based on, you know, the, the crown of this and, um, the history actually of hats. Maybe I'll do a, a video on that, but all of your hats, you know, can be, I don't, I think, ugh. this might be maybe like a three inch brim. Um, the other one here, this Panama is probably like a four and a half. I think I measured brim. And what is so fun is that I just found out too, is that I'll take these off. Um, with these, so this is a pressed straw hat. Um, it was probably around $60, but, um, with some of these straw hats, so, so with this one, it came like more flat brimmed, you know, but with some of these hats, I found that you can mold these to how you would like them. So, um, by soaking them in water, it kind of makes the straw more pliable. And then you can kind of bend your brim down, you know, if you want. That's what I've done with this one. I've kind of bent it down in the front and in the back to make it look, you know, less uh, firm, if you will. But, the, and I have a little piece of straw hanging there that I'll have to clip, but um, it's kind of annoying. Oh, there. But anyway, this looks so cute. Oh my gosh. So the only thing I think I'm going to have to do with this is uh, kind of cut this down a little bit. And yeah, so hopefully this information was helpful for you and like, share and subscribe. And I hope I'm bringing good content here for you. You know, I just want you to know that you don't have to go and spend four, five, three hundred dollars on a wig piece. Of course, if it makes you feel more confident and better knowing that, you know, you are getting a brand that you know, of course, by all means do that. But as you go along in your wig journey, and I've been doing this for about a year now, more than a year, I love shopping for them and finding good deals and great wig manufacturers that understand you know the hair loss and what a woman goes through or you know guy potentially goes through and i don't know i feel that there are so many options out there now that you don't have to sacrifice your money by waiting around to either afford a wig or get one when it goes on sale you know if you are able to go out and shop and know where, um, wig pieces can be found. Um, you know, take advantage of that. And even like with this one, if I have to cut this down, that's fine. I've cut down many wigs and it's not like, I don't think you could screw it up. I mean, just start lower and then go, you know, keep trying it on and, and seeing how it looks. Have somebody help you in the back. I mean, put it on a wig head, a wig stand, you know, it's not, it's not something that you can't do. So hopefully this information was helpful for you and like, share and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.